Okay guys, it's Maranther yet again. Welcome back to Season 4 of Sherbert Craft. This is Episode 7 and this will be my final episode for the Season 4 as it has been a couple months since I recorded all of my footage for the last episode and the season is ending this week. So we're going to be starting a new season hopefully next week um, after the Christmas break starts because a lot of the kids get out of school that play on here and just we thought it would be a great time for everyone to get online and play the game so but when it first starts but uh, anyway so this that was the plan um so this episode's gonna be mostly just a going around the server and we're gonna be looking at things i did turn back into my original skin that i started with because it is me this is who i am um we only managed to seem to get to the earth part of our nomadic adventure so in season five we will have to continue our nomadic adventure and continue to discover the world as it is in a new seed in a new world building new bases and i'm i'm not sure if our two comrades stray and cookie will join us on that adventure but we'll see we might just be on our own which then we have to still become more self-sufficient but that is for a later time later date a whole different season in a whole different world but i'm excited for the new season to come but i want to go through all the stuff in season four that i had so much fun doing and everything that kind of happened during the last couple months because we did have a couple streams if you missed it we did have a halloween stream where we went and did the halloween district uh currently the project right now trying to get ready for a current coming up stream that is coming up real soon at the end of this week which hopefully right after this video comes up there will be a you can catch the stream um but after this video is uploaded, I hope you catch our Christmas stream because we're going to do a Christmas Sherbert stream. And I think Sherbert was planning to go around the server to check out all the bases and stuff, which I'm all the more happy to give a tour of the base that I've been working on. It's not at the perfection level that I would want it to be, but it is still really marvelous. And I want to show you guys the base, like the starter base that turned into more and you've already seen the desert indus industrial district base that I made, my vacation home. It was beautiful. I, I mean, I, I loved every minute of it. So, uh, but let's show you all this so I'm not wasting your time. And we'll see how much we get done. And I can't wait to show you what the current project is this week. That's we're trying to hopefully get finished up before the end of the season so that we can all enjoy a really fun time. Uh, first things first, I died to some skeletons, so I gotta go get my stuff, and hopefully the skeletons aren't there. But let's go. Okay, since I now have my stuff back, let me show you around the base. So of course we have the beautiful base structure that's now perfectly colored copper. Oh my goodness. We do have a few skelly horses here and there. Yeah, that's going to be a problem later. I can already see it. Um, come this way. Uh, our farm, I have actually been working down here a lot. I worked on these cute little stairs that lead to this lovely just farming area. I think it's beautiful. All the same. Sorry. Uh, the lava farm, still the same as ever. Our board. Uh, we ended up getting a to-do, but we never fully completed the to-do. Okay, that's not true. I actually completed this one. This one's done. Three is done. Uh, sugar cave farm, we never did complete. The mud farm, I didn't complete. But I found out I needed basalt. So I did make a cool little basalt thing. And if you come down here, I have cute little minecarts that collect the basalt. And I have a cute little minecart that collects the bamboo. Because I made an automatic bamboo. Ah! I made an automatic bamboo farm. A uh, small chest monster right there. Ignore. Of course, we also have more cobblestone maker here. More dripstone because I work with this stuff so much. And then I just harvest these naturally because I like my little farming habits. It's hard to get done. Of course, our lovely nether portal for the base. Ah, uh, love it. Um, 
what's even more fun is uh, this way. I made a cute little dock area with cute little stairs, some fish. Look, they kind of move. It's cute. Uh, armor stand, of course. Yeah, that's going to be a problem later. Uh, fun little stairs. And just leading up to here, I finished the pathway, sort of. It leads to Cookie's area. But of course, poor Cookie has not been on in a while. Rip our dear Cookie King. <laughs> um, one thing I gotta show you. Hang on, if I plan this right. Where is it? Right there. Okay, uh, stick this landing. Okay, ready for this view? There's the lovely ocean, and bam! Look at my watermelons. You can sort of see the stairs on that one, but you can't see them over there. I mean, look at that. I do. Look, you don't see the stairs. Like how? It's a watermelon. It's cute. You gotta admit. That's freaking cute. It's a watermelon. <laughs> um, but yeah, everything turned out great. This is the starter area, and I think it looks... I think it looks great. Like, honestly, it's not the most amazing. But it looks good, and I mean... There's some ugly parts to it, like over here is a little ugly. I started having to have to get more cherry wood, so it's a little ugly over here. But like, the roof has always been one of my favorites. The trees, I was working on my custom trees for the first time, making them thick and gorgeous. Uh, I was working on this uh, concept of a honey farm. First, it was actually more of a honeycomb farm. It's sort of useful. It's not the greatest producing. It's a simple thing. This simple thing sort of works. Doesn't really work. Sorry, my sounds are so loud. Uh... Okay. But, yeah, it's supposed to do that, and it's supposed to harvest it nicely. There's a couple bees in there. Uh, we've got our... Little crushers. I don't use them as often. Of course, the chicken thing that kills. I, have, I still have an AFK spot here if I so desire. But it's beautiful, right? This, this is just... It's its a simple starter build. It's, it's nice. Um, and so that's what's been going on here at this base. I, I mean... It's mostly been me online. I've been kind of lonely, guys. But it's okay. Because I have you. <laughs> so, uh, it all worked out in the end. We, we got a lot done here. and It's kind of looking nice. We helped Sander out. Uh, with the villagers, I managed to enchant everything that I needed to enchant to the best I could. I've got a couple of tools that are all nice and enchanted. Two soap touches that I... Yeah, I, I've got a good couple amount of enchants that are really nice. So, it, it's usable, and I got paid in really good armor for letting Pitch use my villagers. So, I mean, uh, I'll, I'll take it. <laughs> but let's go to Spawn, and I will show you how Spawn's looking. I don't know if you've visited Spawn in a while, but let's go there. Ready? Okay. Okay, so over here at Spawn, there's a lot going on. There's uh, the remnants of a build that never got completed, but you know what? That's fine. Uh, some shops don't have a lot of inventory, but uh, look at this. It's 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 a lot. There's a giant shulker beast over there. An iron shop that took a lot of my diamonds. Alla's shop that took a lot of my diamonds. Busy's shop that took a lot of my diamonds. The Coliseum had to take a break. But it's still pretty. None this like it, this is still a very pretty spot. Um, we've just got lots of things over here. Um, during the time that we were doing uh, our base and stuff like that, and working in the village, I had to come over here and build. Oh, sorry, the activities committee booth because at the time it was getting close to Halloween, so we had to build this. We have a total of. Five members, including Sherbert. We had our bird and our lovely mirror to help people sign up to be a competing meter. We have our idea slot. Server yard sale day. 
<laughs> funny, funny. Um, anyone who wanted to donate materials, our last, yeah, I'll show you the Halloween district in just a sec. Of course, I had to put a camel here. Cletus loves cactus. I just, uh, I don't have cactus on me right now, so we'll have to say sorry, Cletus. But, um, anywho, uh, while we're at it, Mizzy had to change up how the portal was. This is the public access to the portal because Mizzy's base is literally right here. And her portal messes with any other portal within this span. So we couldn't build a spawn portal. So Mizzy's portal became the designated spawn portal with a sort of uh, mixed up sense of direction. There's lots of tracks everywhere. So yeah, if you go through here, we're inside Mizzy's base right here and all her stuff. But that's a lot of spoilers. So the portal's right here. Um... So the next part I'm going to take you to is during Halloween, we did do a, as you can see in the distance, a Halloween district. But before I go there, I need to change into my costume from Halloween because it just feels weird to go there without it. So give me one second to change and we'll go. Okay, so we have officially changed into our costume. I don't know if you can understand what I am. Uh, might have to uh, remove my hat. But, uh, yeah, so if you can give a guess of who I am for how, who I was for Halloween, go ahead and leave it in the comments. I'm so not giving it away, and I'm so not telling you. So if you know what this costume is and where it's from, go ahead and leave it in the comments. Ignore the cape. I, I, it's mine. I like this cape. It was special. <laughs> okay, into the portal we go. So the Halloween district is over here in, I have to say, not my most amazing portal build, but like, look at all this. Like there's, the, it, there's like so much on the roof here. It's not my most amazing, but I think it's one of my most spookiest. I mean, you can clearly see what it is. It's a graveyard, right? Look at that. Like the spookiness. Super spooky. We'll go in here. Hopefully there's nothing but good things. Oh. My lord. Okay, hang on. Two seconds. Must sleep. Ah, danger. Sleepy, 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 sleepy. Okay. Um. Okay, so this is the portal on the other side. We built in a dark forest. This is the Halloween district. But look at this portal. Look at this. This is my custom tree building. Look at. And I did monster skulk with little eyes. This is, this is cool. And then I went over here and I built the shroom monster cottage because we were getting a lot of um, junk from clearing everything. So we had to put everything here, of course. Um, but yeah, so we need to read the announcement board. If you're first, come first. But it'd be like, claim a jungle sign to build any Halloween theme build. See the lectern at the bottom of the hill for labyrinth rules. Claim any acacia sign to enter the pumpkin build contest. Those were the things we did for the Halloween. We had to build a pumpkin build contest and a labyrinth con labyrinth thing. Um anyway, I built a lot of, I like I came in here and I did a lot of just like like wagons and pumpkin patches with wheat. Over here is like my biggest pumpkin patch that I think was so great. Like, <laughs> I love this. I'm keeping that. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm I'm gonna keep that in there. Um, planning some Halo <laughs> after I finish this recording, but um. Look at this. Look at this lovely little pumpkin batch. I did some terraforming. I did so much. It's so pretty. And then, of course, there's a lot of just, like, little area builds. We, of course, have our lovely cemetery. I'm sure you can't guess what uh, Sherbert was. Here's mine. Third-party pillagers. I keep getting third-partied. Like, I get third-partied so much by pillagers. It's ridiculous. I don't even know why. And then, of course, <laughs> building exhaustion. <laughs> uh, pitch. 
not everybody was here to put their heads on a on it, but you know, there's lots of fun things. Um, original Mall Rawl just left his grave here. Uh, but yeah, so there's lots going on here. I am so hungry. I might have to see if there's food somewhere. But yeah. Uh, don't forget to pay your respects to dead. I didn't even realize there was a sign. <laughs> um, but yeah, here was an area that someone didn't build in. Um, I think Meezy and I were the only two that did the pumpkin contest. I actually don't know who won. I'm, I'm going to be honest. I, I never saw. But this is my pumpkin. I, I, I worked very hard on making this pumpkin. Look at it. It's so cute. And then, of course, Mizzy's just, like, completely texturized amazingness. So, there's some secret fun around here. Hopefully I don't die to something in the dark woods. But, yeah, mine had an in an added development. This is, this is sort of a... If you remember last... What was it? Sherbetcraft Season 1? If you remember any streams like that... From that time, we I didn't do any recording at the time, but there was sort of a labyrinth build, and I did a witch's room with boiling cauldron and floating chickens, a couple dinner bone chickens, and just floating objects. I didn't get to put all the floating objects in here, but this is just kind of a, a coup de grace to my last Halloween time that I was here kind of thing. Um, the labyrinth, that was insane. M this was Zoen's part, and it was insane. Like, super insane. Sherbert was over here. He built this one. Pitch took on another labyrinth and built this. And him and, like, him and Sherbert built this in a flash, because we were running out of time. Mine, of course! Looks like a giant watermelon. <laughs> um... <sighs> I might have to break in. Okay, just pretend we didn't do this, okay? We did not break into our own labyrinth. See, we did not do that. That was not us, completely. This leads into Sherbert's, which we'll have to go through Sherbert's to get out. But uh, this is the exit to mine, and it had some cute little fun things. Oh my goodness, let me in. Oh, goodness, yeah, it, it, the annoying parts of it all. Okay, I'm gonna do this quickly. I knew there was food in here. <laughs> it's past Halloween. No one's gonna want that. Okay, I'm gonna... Yeah, there was a trap. It was a trap. For sure a trap. Okay, so... Anywho, we're gonna come back this way. I could just bust our way out. I may. But this is... E Impossibly easy. So this is Sherbert's. I uh, I may know the way. He had like a interesting surprise in this one. I don't think it's upper. Oh yes, see, yeah, that was the thing that got me spooked for a sec. I, I did squeal just a little bit. But it was a delayed squeal. Delayed squeal. Okay. Goodness, I think I've got to go around the back of it. Ah! This is what happens when you put yourself in a freaking labyrinth. I should just bust my way out. Later, later. Okay, yeah, and then this was the uh, one pitch and Sherbert quickly built. Because why not? But we had to go through this darn labyrinth the entire time. Okay, the switch has to be up, so it's up now. So it should be a simple... That's a small lag. Should be as simple as exiting... Yep. 
Yep. Okay. Ta-da! Okay. We're keeping the carrots. I, I've been working on something. And that's like one portion of the labyrinth. I'm not showing you the rest. You'll have to figure. You'll have to like go look at people's past streams or something. Uh, Sherbert might have it on YouTube. You might have to go look at it for Sherbert's point of view of what went down. Because I, I don't want to spoil it. If you missed it, you missed it. But I don't know. This It was pretty fun. Um, another thing in the Halloween district is we did have a skelly like horseman thing happened. So we have a couple skelly horses. Which I thought was nice. Oh, they're still in. <laughs> There's still a beacon here. I love that. There's just like random beacons everywhere. Um, but yeah, a lot of work went into this. We were trying really hard to quickly just put it together because we started running out of time. But yeah, I thought it was pretty good. There was, I was trying, there was at one point I thought about putting a secret in here, but I ended up not putting the secret in there. So um, now I will take you to the next place. So we'll follow this path for just a sec. Boom. Okay. Sorry. Uh, before we go to the next project that we're working on, I'm I'm going to um I'm going to change clothes yet again because <laughs> this is just for Halloween. And I mean, if you know what this costume is, I mean, look at this dashing costume. If you ever know what this is, uh, put it in the comments. Like, no joke. Put it in the comments. I want to know what your guesses are. Anyway, two seconds. Okay, ho, 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 and a Merry Christmas to you all. Yeah, we're in Christmas getup. Look at this sweater. I'm cute. <laughs> but th this is what I've been wearing for the last couple of weeks. Because, you know, it's Christmas when I'm actually recording this. It's Christmas time. So, um, anyway, we're going to go to the Christmas district now. <laughs> Uh, part of me needs to actually make the portal for the Christmas area look amazing. But, uh, until then, this, there, there, see, I told you there was going to be a reason why we had to wear the leather boots. See, see, that's why we have the leather boots. Uh, there, there's a surprise. Anyway, jumping through. Please don't let there be death! It's night. Hang on. I'll show you what we popped out of in just a sec. Sleep, 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 sleep. I spent too much time in the nether. Ugh, I waste too much time in the nether. Okay. Oh, goodness me. I did not think he would finish it, and it's beautiful. And he used my design! Oh my goodness, I love it! Okay, so, see, I... Sorry, major... Oh my goodness. Major runoff here. Uh... We have these lovely streamers that I was working on with different colored lanterns because I thought they looked festive and I was working on them. Um, but here's the... I, I gotta back up for this. Here is the portal. It's a fireplace, guys! And with the... <sighs> Goodness. I don't have it on me right now. I can't do anything about it. That That's so annoying. Anyway, so if you don't have leather boots, you come stand here and you get yourself a pair of leather boots. But we do have leather boots, so we don't need a pair of leather boots. But let's let's just say we don't have them. We just come over here and go boop. Leather boots. And they are all dyed for a reason. Oh, goodness. I have a feeling there is a chest feeding into this. I, I must find the source. Oh, hi, string. Sorry, string. Oh my goodness, he is like hidden. Do not pay attention to these at all. Okay. I, I don't know where mine went, so we're not gonna... 
worry too much about it. This is what I get for this whole mess. Okay, where did my frog lights go? <laughs> oh, goodness, I knew this was gonna happen. This is what I get for doing this. I really should have just left it be. Okay. And this string was here for a reason to keep the snow away from... Yeah. We were trying to keep the snow off of this area. But look at the string lights! And, of course, I had to... Oh. <sighs> Hang on. Okay. One must not leave her belongings where they don't belong. <laughs> Sorry, keeping my shoulders safe. We have the Mount Crumpet with the Grinch thing. Like, it is amazing. Someone must be doing something with the lettering. They're, they're, I don't know. I'm seeing it on the map slightly. Yeah, I'm seeing it sort of on the map. Um, but we have lots of fun stuff over here. We've got some gingerbread houses. Uh, we've got Mizzy, who is showing me up in the gingerbread house era. We've got an ice rink that Sherbert looks like he just finished it with the whole lighting and everything. It's beautiful. I don't know. I like it. Wee! And then, um, my most favorite part. Hang on. Directly. <laughs> it's powdered snow. Look at this! I can walk around no problem in the powdered snow. And I just climb up like whoo, and we got those snowball fight sections. And I am working a little bit on more streamers over here. I don't want to like block this off completely, but a lighting would be nice. Uh, we've got a cute little road here. I was just making some simple houses that people could take. Uh, there's some candy canes, of course, because it's cute. Uh, basic, just gingerbread houses for people to decorate. I was still working on this. Progress got a little bit lost during a problem, so I'm not completely done with it. But when it's done, it'll be beautiful. Um... This feels like spoilers, but, uh, so here's the sleigh that the Grinch stills. And there should be... Oh no. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Max is gone. I don't know how to tell Zoan that Max is gone. Oh my goodness, look at this! What is this? What is this, Max? What is this? This looks amazing. I don't know how to feel about this. It looks amazing. So I might not... It seems like spoilers. But uh, I'll probably record some more later as we continue because this is the last and final project of the Sherbert Craft server. Um, I did make a sort of simplified goat farm over here. We're doing a lot of powdered snow stuff. This, this is all like a lot of knowledge. So... I'll come in here. 
simple goat farm. Trying to get screaming goats. I'm just going to breed these guys up. Because I need the screaming goats. So, yeah, breeding up the goats for screaming. I think we have one screaming goat now. Oh, I see something in the distance. Hey, look, it's a villager party. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Where'd they go? Look, friends. I knew it. See, everywhere I go, a party shows up. We have our simplified ice farm that we were doing stuff with. And of course, our powdered snow production has been insane. Because we're trying to do a lot of things with powdered snow. Part of it was we want to fill this valley up, which I actually think it's all filled up now. Oh, wait. It has one layer that's not completely filled. I don't know. This might be as high as it's going to go. But, yeah. This is what we've been working on. Powdered snow. Just everywhere. Um, I do need to finish the portal. There's a lot to be done still in this area. We're not finished yet, but we will be soon. I think I need to fix my cape problem, but... Um, yeah, and we are planning to do a, well, Sherbert is planning to do a stream for the Christmas area, and I was also planning to possibly stream it as it's supposed to be the last stream on Sherbert Craft Season 4, and it'll be super fun, so I hope you check it out at the end of this week. Anyway, fun times. I'm thinking the next... Step is to finish the portal on the other side. I'm not entirely sure if I should have it be a another fireplace or if I should make it something other Christmassy. What should it be? A snowman? A snow golem? Or an elf? Oh. Or should it be a giant Santa sack? Ooh. Or a snow globe? Ooh. I like the snow globe idea. Maybe we'll do a snow globe. I just got to figure out how to do a snow globe. But we'll figure it out. It'll be fine. Snow globe will be great. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's going to be the next project. So uh, I'm going to go with some materials and we'll and look at some resources and we'll get on to the snow globe project of making the nether roof portal look like a snow globe. Be right back, guys. Okay, so this video is going a little longer than I usually like to have it. So I'm going to end it here and I will show you the rest of what I've been up to the last couple of months, even though I haven't been recording or streaming as much as I have the last couple of months but during that time I did spend a lot of time on Minecraft when I could to build because it was one of my few stress relievers that I am very happy that video games and Minecraft are a stress relief kind of thing for me because these last couple of months have been very stressful with everything I've had to go through and do in IRL so I was really happy that I had the Minecraft community on all my friends online that I could come online, play some Minecraft with them, do some fun things. Even though I didn't get to record all the fun things, I was really happy that I got to have this opportunity to be able to still play the games that I loved to play and have moments where I got to sort of stream every now and then if you didn't catch my streams, but also just be able to play some Minecraft and just enjoy some peace. Um, I'm gonna end the episode here. I will hopefully have two episodes out and I will say it just right now, my next episode will be the last episode for the season as the Sherbert Craft server is going to be done after this week. And hopefully I can do a cool summary of everything goes down that had gone down during the last couple of months. Anyway, thanks for stopping by. I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful day. See y'all later. Bye guys.